Ladies and gentlemen, let's right game into the comp video. We have some information regarding NVIDIA's Maxwell. Now, this information is fairly solid from what I can tell. It's actually been posted on OC UK forums by a chap known as Gibbo. In case you're not too familiar, OC UK are one of the largest retailers for computer hardware in the United Kingdom. In fact, I used to be a very frequent member on the forums myself and Gibbo is actually one of their members of staff he's actually one of the uh, managers he has spoken regarding the performance you might be surprised you might not be surprised so the 980 and the 970 uh, these this is what he said and I quote four gigabyte reference cards with eight gigabytes at a later date with custom coolers I can't say any more but don't expect a huge leap in performance over single cards, uh, current single cards. Then he said in a different post, they replaced the 780, not the 780 tie with a winky face. Good old winky faces. Performance wise, my lips are sealed on how they compare to the 780 tie. But of course, the 980 is quicker than the 780 for sure. I have to say, and this is out of quote, that the Maxwell series. You could write a sodding book with how many rumours there have been on this thing. I honestly, I don't understand how the hell one GPU architecture has had so many rumours going about. This is easily up there with the original, um, original GeForce when it first had hardware TNL, and probably even the Voodoo Four and Five chipsets when there was so much discussion. Well, technically Four and Five both used pretty much. The same chipsets. I think they were VSA 100s. I, it's been so long. I'm probably completely wrong on that. Regardless, I'm going a little bit off the beaten path here. So this tells us several things. Firstly, eight gigabytes is coming at a later date. This possibly coincides with a die shrink that's been rumored several times in a row now. I keep hearing about it from Maxwell. We know that NVIDIA were going for 20NM, they just couldn't get it. Their, their refineries, the TSMC, which of course are responsible for the manufacturing and production of the cards, or should I say the chipsets which go in the cards, um, the GPU cores in other words, they've been having problems with ma shrinking to the smaller manufacturing process. And so the rumor has it that we're going to be seeing 28NM now, and then, like, just for example... We'll have like the ties or the 980 pluses or whatever the hell ends up happening in the future. Or it's possible that we'll just be seeing 8 gigabytes as a standard. Secondly, this is not going to be a replacement for 780 tie. Therefore, if you have a card, and this is by no means an exhaustive list, but if you've got a high end Titan, or if you've got any Titan, if you've got a 780 tie, if you've got an R9 290 or a 290X in particular, if you've got a Crossfire setup, which equals to about that level of performance, if you happen to even have a 780, particularly if your 780 overclocks extremely well, for example, you've got a custom cooler on it, like a water cooling block, and the only thing you're interested in is raw pixel pushing gaming performance and you don't want to buy a Maxwell just because it's a Maxwell it doesn't bother you that your card is a 780 and a 980 or whatever is out you're probably not going to want to upgrade for now that's pretty much what I'm getting with this um, and I don't mean that in a really bad way like Nvidia's done badly or you know Nvidia sucks it just seems that their priority here has been to produce a cooler card. Now, there are a couple of caveats. Firstly, we don't know what's going to happen when the die shrinks hit. We don't know what the 980 ties or whatever the balls are going to end up being called happen. Sometimes I might say 980 and sometimes I might say 880. It's just because my brain A is tired and B, this thing's changed names like a dozen times. But if I say 880, I do mean 980, just to clarify. Um... My other concern is 8 gigabytes of RAM on a 980. I'm unsure how how necessary that will be. There are a couple of instances I can see it being useful. Primarily 4K if you're going with like a high-end um, SLI rig. Otherwise, I, just, I don't really see it's going to be necessary. Sure, we don't know how much RAM games of the future are going to take, but 
honestly, at 1440p, my GTX 780 Ti um, rarely goes above 3 gigs. Now, there are a couple of games that do this, but they just shitty at memory management. For example, Watch Dogs. Um, but aside from that, it's generally pretty cool. Now, as I said, 4 gigs is definitely better, but 8 gigs might be a little bit overkill. So there you have it, guys. This is a fairly short and sweet video. I don't want to bore you with numbers of shaders and stuff like that because it's just unknown. My guess would be somewhere between the 780 and 780 tie. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care, pals and buddies and chums. And bye for now.